My name is Koala. You may be always wondering why my name is Koala. This video is going to answer all your questions. You may be thinking why koalas are always sleeping. How about comparing koala's fingerprint with humans in the crime scene? What happens? These seven shocking fun facts are going to surprise you and why you must put koala visit to your bucket list. Let's go. Welcome to Brisbane, Australia. Early morning opening my windows with this amazing view of a south bank and the bridge. What an amazing start of the day. Today is my day one here. Having lived in Sydney for a while before, it's my first time here. I'm taking you to the best vintage point of the city to check out its stunning skyline and panoramic views. This place I'm heading to is called Mount Kuta. As you can see, climbing up the mountain, arriving at the top and see a metal world map right in front. That definitely fits the theme of my channel. On top of the mountain in Brisbane. Wow, just look at that view. From the towering skyscrapers to the tranquil river, Brisbane's beauty is simply unmatched. There is also some bird animal walking around. Australia is full of cool animals. A short drive from Mount Kuta, Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary is the world's first and largest koala sanctuary. To get ready to meet some cuddly friends, I specifically wear my self-designed koala tank top. Coming to see my species, they're all sleeping. See my t-shirt. They're like one, two, three, four. Four of them are sleeping. These adorable creatures are not just cute, but also vital to Australia's ecosystem. The first koala we're visiting is a retired koala. Yeah, really, you are not hearing wrong. Retired koala, basically they are in captivity and it's said that they can live longer than their other wild friends. Normally, a koala can live somewhere from 8 to 10 years long, but a captive koala may live up to 15 years. Thanks to plentiful food, veterinary care, and a lack of predators. One of the koalas named Sarah lived to 23 years old, making her the world's longest lived koala a record holder. Koalas are known for their love of sleep. Most of the koalas I'm seeing are sleeping. Fun fact one, they spend up to 18 to 22 hours a day sleeping. This sedentary lifestyle helps conserve their energy as their diet of eucalyptus leaves is low in nutrients and requires a lot of digestion. For myself, sleeping is my top activity of the day and the most important daily routine for me. My first channel, The Crazy Koala, I've talked about my routine of trying to have 10 hours sleep every day. At least I try 9 hours minimum. I know that some people may have other priorities such as must exercise every day to gain energy or something like that. But for me, if I don't have enough sleep hours, I would not be able to function through my entire day. Sleep and well-beings are our top one priority. It's incredible that they basically sleep like dead. Oh finally, someone is moving for a scratch. The second main activity of koalas is to eat. When they are not sleeping, you can see they are always eating. Koala when I'm visiting, the only koala that is not sleeping has such a good appetite and eating off the entire tree. That's pretty amazing. Fun fact too, eucalyptus leaves are the primary food source for koalas. They have a specialized digestive system that allows them to break down the tough eucalyptus leaves which are toxic to most other animals. That's also the reason that makes them feel sleepy all the time. Oh, there are other animals around too. Koalas can be divided into northern and southern koalas. For northern, they have short and gray fur, weighed 7 kilograms for males, 5.5 for females, about 70 centimeters long. For southern koalas, their furs are long and brown instead, a lot heavier, 12 kilos for guys and 8.5 for girls. They are also much longer too. Fun fact 3, baby koalas are called joeys. When they are born, they are tiny, blind and hairless, resembling pink jelly beans. They immediately crawl into their mother's pouch, where they spend the first 6 months of their lives developing. Take a little break from koala before going back to visit other koalas. We're hopping over to meet Australia's most famous marsupial, the kangaroo. These incredible creatures are the ultimate symbol of Aussie wildlife. Kangaroos are not only fascinating to watch, but also surprisingly friendly. Just look at these guys. They're practically posing for the camera. 
fun fact four, kangaroos can leap incredible distances, often reaching speed of up to 40 miles per hour, that is 64 kilometers per hour. They can leap distances of up to 25 feet, 7.6 meters, in a single bound. At the beginning, I was a bit scared to get close to them, but they seem to be very friendly and comfortable making friends with you. I totally enjoy my hangout with kangaroo friends. <laughs> now, going in another sanctuary called Koala Forest. Fun fact 5, despite their nickname Koala Bear, koalas are not bears at all. They are marsupials, related to kangaroos and wombats. They belong to the marsupial family which means they carry their young egg in a pouch. I'm now going to have my intimate encounter with my koala friends. Good? Yeah. So this is Jester. He likes pats just along his back. So if you come around this way, just on his back. Okay, sure. The only koalas that are not sleeping are being put up as the photogenic model. Great. Fun fact six. Despite their solitary nature, koalas are social animals and have complex social hierarchies within their populations. They interact with each other through various behaviors, such as grooming and vocalizations. The koala finds a comfortable spot among the branches, often wedging itself between forks or curling up in a cozy nook. It then curls its body into a tight ball, tucking its nose into its chest and wrapping its fluffy ears around its head for warmth and protection. Fun fact seven. Koalas have fingerprints that are remarkably similar to human fingerprints. This fact has led to difficulties in differentiating koala prints from human prints at crime scenes. I had so much fun at this sanctuary. After a great day, I went back to the city for a nice meal in a Japanese restaurant. I ordered a large sashimi platter with so many types of fishes and they look super fresh and it's not too expensive per Australian standard. Simply enjoying my meal, dipping my favorite yellowtail into wasabi for a little kick. And the spicy Korean stew tastes warm-hearted. Now it's time to grab some dessert. I opted for ice cream. That looks interesting. Choco ice cream, black tea ice cream. Hope you enjoy traveling with koala and learn something new about the animal world today. Do subscribe and share my videos. See you at the comment below. Love you all.